Hello. Hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hey over here. Hello. We are here with new <laughs> Hey Dag Baron, welcome to the stream. Okay. So we'll jump right into this. Uh basically this is some new PowerPoint blah 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 uh stuff. And uh basically it's UV stuff, so from my understanding it's like the nets of stuff and like the texturing and everything and and I don't know, something like that. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> so, um I've done it I was doing this at school um yesterday I think. Like during lunch I came in and just did this. Uh since we had the option to. Hey Mystic Auto, welcome to the stream. Are you a sheep now? I did not know you are a big beep on a sheep. <laughs> Alright, so okay. Oh look it's hydration bot. <laughs> um I'll get some water on it when I need it. Oh, it's good music. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I tried this, and it seems that whenever you scale stuff here, it doesn't scale in the UV, and the UV does not scale this. So that's interesting. Understanding coordinates. We can apply textures based on UV coordinates. Initial UVs of a cube are identical to the net of a cube. Okay. You can break down UVs into components to understand how it corresponds back to the geometry. Okay, so that's the initial UV. The component se face selected in viewport, right? So if you select it here, it will be selected there. Okay. Corresponding UV cluster is highlighted. Cluster. Does that just mean the area around it? Okay. Define this defines that the texture position for this face must sit inside the highlighted UV cluster or UV shell. Uh, okay, right, okay, that makes sense. UV components. UVs are another component of geometry. They can be accessed via the right click height uh, hotbox. What am I saying? Hotbox and selecting UVs. This allows you to select UVs. They cannot be moved in 3D space. Huh? UVs? Okay. Using the UV texture editor, we have the ability to move, scale, and rotate them using the standard hotkeys. The right click hotbox can also be accessed when hovering over the UV editor. In here, you are able to select the standard components and also entire UV shells. Hmm, I see. Ah, uh, let's see. Textures can be created to match UVs or vice versa. Okay. Okay. Uh, initial UVs are not ideal as they waste resolution. This is why we create our own or adjust what is available. Methods depend on what the final asset will be used for. Primitive with standard UVs. Primitive, primitive with updated UVs. Okay, so basically just making the best use of the space provided it seems like okay uh create a cube open the uv texture editor hold right click and select uvs mark key select some of the cube uvs and move them what does that mean mark key select what does uh okay select the entire uv okay so wait let's get to the start of this thingy Go to the start, I need to see this. I need to see this. What are you gonna do? Okay, so like, do stuff to get used to moving them around. And then when we're done with that, select the entire UV shell, rotate it 45 degrees, and scale it so if... So, scale it so it feel as much of... <laughs> Feel not feel instead of feels scale it so it feel as much of the UV through one space as possible without going outside the bounds. What's this oh well? <laughs> this is uh a course I'm doing in school at the moment. Um so where are we? Uh here. No, we are not there. Actually, we wanna go here. 
So I just do it on the stream sometime. Uh, you know, it's like 3D modeling stuff. And uh, right now I'm learning about this whole UV thing, which is pretty new to me. So if you guys are unfamiliar with it, we'll all learn together. Okay, so let's create a cube. Yeah, boom, cube. There we go. Okay, so what's it? Right click. Uh, U UV. Wait. Oh, yes, UV. UV, UV. Oh. Uh, does it open the editor or do we have to like open the editor manually? Um, hold on. Okay, so that's just selection. Um, of it from the outside. Uh, how do you get into the editor again? Is it from up here? UV editor. Okay, can we move this like side by side or something? Okay. Well, that's something, I guess. Um, Alright, so. Let's, let's try select parts of this. Can uh, so if we select like an edge like the oh, hold on, let's 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 find the ha uh, what's an edge like. Well, this is this is cool. So it's like sudden edges, kind of like up here twice or something. Vertices, stuff like this using. We can move this around, yeah? Wow, look at that. How do you separate them again? Um, also, oh, is that the one we want? No, this is the one we want. Um, how did we separate this whole thing? I don't remember. Uh, we'll probably have to go back for this. Uh, Hmm. Okay, hold on. Uh, what is marquee select? What does that mean? What is mean of this? Um, what does this mean? Is a lasso or select? A marquee cool tool is a software utility that allows the to user to select multiple objects or a portion of an object, such as an image or a picture. Okay, I see. That's what it means. So I am unfamiliar with that, so thanks for explaining thingy. Internets. Um, okay, so can we select adjust using this? Like, I want to be able to. Okay, so you can just select from here. Cool, cool. Um, and then I can go like face, face, funny face. Uh, and then if we go edge, we can do this. Cool, cool. Alright, uh, what would you like me to do? Wasn't it? Select the whole UV, so the whole, what do you have to do from here? Um, UV shell. This whole thing, okay. Uh, no, sorry, it's, it's E, isn't it? Okay. Or, Uh Oh Need to make it fit Um Did this say So Scalar Okay it says scalar as well Do 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 Okay well it's approximately 45 is that going out? I think it is a little bit. Uh, scale it a bit more. 
Okay. Now move it. Eh, it it's filling a lot of space up, right? <laughs> Is that enough? I think that's enough. Cool. Um, it, 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 it's pretty good. Right? Oh, I mean, we could scale it a bit more outwards, I guess. We want to be using them as much space as we can, I suppose. Is that going out? No, I don't think so. I'm assuming this one is right. Yeah, okay. Scale it a bit more. There we go, that, that's good. <laughs> Alright. Starting you you want me to start another scene? You want you uh, Fine, I will not because I'm rebellious and I'm not doing this. I'll put this all in one scene so that it doesn't go all over the place, okay? <laughs> uh let's move this. Okay, cube. Uh let me go save this first. Uh Display capture. Give me a moment. Just want to save this. Uh, do, 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 do. My computer, USB. Save it in. Here, UV, I guess UV practice or whatever. Call it that. Okay, uh, get this back up. Cool, cool. So it wants me to come on circle circle I would like yes thank you can we do a thing now okay cool we can do a thing uh sorry boom all right so let's manipulate this uh move this Move this to uh, as central as possible. Uh -huh. Um, mid. So we want the center to be at about two point five. If there's a way to move this around better, I oh. want. Oh, okay, well, that's a thing. Um, so center around about 7.5-ish. Okay, now... Wait, was that okay already? Yeah, okay, so we now want to scale this. Whoosh. Scaling tool. That's how, right? Oops. We can close that off for a bit. Okay. Now, scale. We don't want it touching, do we? Yeah, no. Make it a bit less like that. Okay, well, I was a bit off. That's okay. It takes up most of the space, and it's fine. Uh. W. Whoa. <laughs> Friend and I just keep making that joke at school now. Just like randomly go because it's funny. Cause it's funny. Get it? Get it? Um. Yes. Please. Let me save. Okay. Cool. You have five minutes. I don't think I needed five minutes for something like that. And they give me like not enough time for stuff. That's okay. Projection is a technique which splits the UVs in an object based on a projection type. This process allows for sur surfaces to have an effect efficient and effective layout for UVs. The desired result is a UV layout that has represented the object's 3D shape in a 2D net format. This more often than not means having multiple shells. Oh no, that sounds confusing! Multiple shells! As you project, you will have to identify the new UV shells and faces that they correspond to. All projection tools can be found in the UV menu under the modeling toolset. Okay, cool. 
Okay, UVs, projection types. Automatic projection is not an automatic UV layer and should be used with caution. It does not deliver the most efficient results, but will assist in splitting the model into multiple shells based on multiple directional values. Cube with standard UV is textured. Uh, cube with automatic projection. Automatic projection UVs. Hmm. What? Automatic projection visual. So is that, is that just like capture? I'm confused. What are these? What exactly are these squares? What? What? I. I. Uh, bl blur. Um. Is that just showing? Okay. Hold on. Let's see. Unwrapping automatic projection. For standard cube figure 1, create a cube, select the cube, access UV, automatic, view the UVs. Let's, let's view the UVs. Okay, interesting, cool. Uh, for a tetrahedron, wow, figure 2, create a tetrahedron, create polygon, primitives, platonic, solids, option, oh, hold on. Create polygon primitives platonic solids open box select tetrahedron in the drop down menu. Wow, there's a lot of steps to get to something like this. <laughs> wow, that's okay. Okay, <laughs> hey, uh, Luxurious, uh, welcome to the stream. This is some 3D modeling stuff that I have to, uh, that I'm doing for a course in school. So, yeah, uh, at the moment we're doing UV stuff. Uh, I just learned about this, so I'm learning about what this is used for and how to edit it and all that right now. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much how I'd sum it up. Let's see. Change the planes number to four and set the optimize for radio box to less the stop. What? Set the optimize for radio box, optimize for radio, which is a box, to less distortion. So what does that do? Hold on, let's, let's watch this again. So I need a tetrahedron. So, but, wait, how are they doing this? Well, why did they just make a cube in figure two? I'm confused. <laughs> okay, so they make a tetrahedron. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay. They go into this, and okay. So the, so it's just like separated everything. Okay, cool. Exercise automatic projection. Starting you may have seen automatic project a dodecahedron. How many sides does a dodecahedron have? Yeah, five minutes. Oh, I don't know how many sides a dodecahedron has. Maybe twelve. No, the one I always forget is eleven. That one's a weird one. Like, 10's a decagon, and then 12 is a dodecagon, right? And then 11 is like... Oh, I, I even forget right now. I was just talking about it to my friend not even that long ago. Um, and, oh, I already forgot. Isn't it like a... De no. No, I don't know. I, I forgot already. <laughs> but a dodecahedron has 12 sides. We should know that. That is... Oh, oh no, I didn't meant to go in object mode, please. Object mode, please move this. Okay. So I uh, just wanted to pop in, good luck in what you're doing. Alrighty, thanks uh, for popping in then. <laughs> have a good day. Let's see. Uh so wait, what did we have to do? Create polygon primitives. Platonic solids. Uh, where do we have to go next? Um, why? Well, this is this is a decade feature. Wait, do, do we need to do something else? Hold on, polygon. Oh no, we need to go on this box. Um. Dodecahedron. Oh, well, apparently it's already a dodecahedron. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize. I, okay, sure. Create. Right? That, 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 it's just like. Okay, that, that's 12, alright. 
I'm sure. Okay, so what did I have to do? Uh, automatic project. How how was this like done again? Um, select the object axis UV automatic option box. Okay. Um. Oh wait, no, I probably need UV on this. UV automatic projection. Has at least two arguments to be specified. No, I want this whole object. Hold on, object. This object UV automatic. So if we go on to our oh well oh no here it is restore oh uh is that the automatic projection? That's, that's a little dodgy. No. Uh, oh no, I want to fix it. No, we'll just keep that full screen. Um, wait, is that actually the... What? That does not look like an automatic projection. Let's try that again. Uh, UV. Right, automatic. Oh! Oh right, it's is it four? Less distortion? Is that what we needed, right? The the less distortion thing, right? Less distortion, right, okay. So if we apply this oh really I, I selected this object, come on. Okay, so let let's see what how this turns out. Um where is where is it? Project. Where is the UV? Can I access the UV now? Uh, hold on. UV editor. Oh, so that's that's. So okay, I think I get it now. So we want to be making this so that it um so that we can minimize. So if we add more planes, right? Ah, uh, more planes, it just gets separated more, right? <laughs> Is that roughly what it looks like? No, not really, some of them are still like... Uh... Is there any more? So 12 is the maximum, huh? Okay. Well, that seems to be around about what it's meant to look like, right? <laughs> okay. UV is cylindrical, cylindrical projection. Cylindrical projection allows for a circumference to be unwrapped. Oops, sorry. No idea. Okay. Allows for a circumference to be unwrapped with incredible ease. Take note that it does not have to be a round shape. It is best to identify faces prior to using cylindrical unwrap, as it can only project in two axes simultaneously. In two axes. Oh, okay. Okay. Cylindrical projection will elect an edge to split the UV shell and lay out the shape, creating a scene. The projection has a manipulator handle that allows for projection, rotation, and scale. Select it, find the red cross there, highlight it. Okay. A little confusing right now. Just a little. One is the initial layout. Two, cylindrical projection. Okay, so that's just showing the whole circum the, like the circumference of it, rather than just like seeing it from a side-on view. Okay, so that's the net of the round bit, basically. Okay. Cylindrical projection. Create a cylinder. Rotate at 90 degrees. Open the UV editor and move the cap shells away from the zero one space. Select the faces of the circumference UV cylindrical. Hold on. Does it circular select or what? What does it? What do they do? To, what? Why they wait? Okay. Why select the faces of the circumference? UV cylindrical. With the UVs and using the 
รัสเซียนี่พี่เลยนะ rotate the cylindrical projection to match the cylinder's circumference select the shell and move it back into the zero one space select one of the border edges to identify where the split exists select one of the border edges huh what the Whoa, that's a wavy. Probably need to do this myself, right? Is the exercise gonna be to do this? Um. What the? How do you create something like this? Uh huh. Uh huh. Create the following geometry, and cylindrically project. Uh, yes. So wait, how would I go, hold on? Let's see. How would I go about making this weird thingy? <laughs> um, because I'm confused. Let me see. Is it just a cylinder who, with with the sides like just moved in? It might it might be. Hold on, let, let's see. Um, so let's get rid of this for now. Um, we can just move this now. Bye bye. Thank you. Um. Okay. So, cause would we be able to just move? Like I go multi cart right. Uh, cut, and then cut at certain points. Okay, wait, no. Let's let's make this larger first. So let's go scale. Whoosh. That's good, I guess. <laughs> um, and then. Oh, can I go? Oh, I forgot how symmetrical. Uh, where is it? Why do I have to go for symmetry? Symmetry. Is it in control? Oh wow. Uh. Mm, what if I? Is it symmetry here? I'm trying to remember where symmetry is. Select, select, is in select. Uh, symmetrical selection, right? That that would be kind of what it would be. Uh, edit. Here, let me look this up. Symmetrical select. Select symmetry object or world from the marking menu. Wait, control shift right click. Control shift oh no. Control shift right click. Okay, I think we probably need this first. Control shift right click. Symmetry, symmetry, yes. Okay, so potentially gonna No, that didn't do anything over here. I should have said a type of symmetry. <laughs> um Symmetry. Uh Wait, which way is which right now? Is it across the Z at the moment or not? Or can we not do so for this sort of thing? So it's selecting, but uh, does that mean the cuts can't be symmetrical? Because I want to be making symmetrical cuts right now. That, that's what I'm trying to do. Symmetrical cuts. Um, okay, symmetrical cuts. Uh, 
topology symmetry similar on the symmetry symmetry what am I saying symmetry oh yeah symmetry so apology topology sym symmetry cannot be activated you must select the cement before activation in account um okay uh Uh huh. Oh, access, access. Hmm. I don't know if I can actually symmetry, like cut like across, like cut here, but also cut there at the same point from there. So, wait, if we go like halfway down this, actually, what do I have a side on if I want to do this? Yeah, about there ish, I don't know. Um, I'm just approximating. So, do we need like this? edge or what to be able to so from here symmetry right this select the seam edge what does that mean uh huh Do they not actually mirror? Well, like, so can they not do symmetrical? What? Can they not do symmetrical stuff? So it does it not actually Oh, why don't I just create the that part of the object and then like symmetry? <laughs> oh hey It's a thingy, who's this? T block, thank you for the host Hello everybody Hello, hello, hello Thank you so much Okay, so I need to cut. No, okay, wait. So if I want to be able to create this, then ideally we'll cut up to that point and then mirror it, right? Or duplicate special. Let's make this smaller then. This is too big. Too big. Too big. Oh, that's rather interesting, yeah. <laughs> 
Wait, hey, look at that. I've somehow found my favorite boy. What? No. <laughs> hello, Zavisti, and hello, T Block. Welcome, guys. Uh, I'm currently doing some. So, for those of you who are unaware of what's going on at the moment, I'm uh, doing some. Like, for one of my school courses, I'm doing 3D modeling. Uh, and so what I'm doing on the streams is sometimes I just bring it onto the streams and do it because maybe it's something that you guys enjoy watching because in the past it's been, you know, you guys have liked it. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. Thanks for my Twitter notifications. The, most, the host waves throughout the night. That's amazing. That's great. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So at the moment I'm doing UV stuff and learning, but for, we have to make the shape so that we can study the UV of it. Which seems very complicated. Anyway, um, let's not overly complicate things because this is something that was that would have meant to have been done in ten minutes. But yeah, okay. So it's just pushing edges in, right? If I want to do this, okay, that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, let's. Okay, I do not want symmetry selected again anymore because that is gonna be really annoying if I keep that on. Symmetry off. Thanks. Okay. So. Go around there, um, and move that in, right? That, oh, but that would do that moves the whole object in because I wouldn't just be able to, would it be better if I just move stuff out? Hmm. <laughs> right, because oh no, I should create the cut first. Actually, um, that's a good idea, and then that way it wouldn't actually. No, it wouldn't affect it to a certain point. Okay, okay, that's a good idea. So, uh, multi cut, please. Uh, around about like here-ish, maybe. Okay, so now if I try it, it's not gonna affect the stuff underneath, right? Yeah, there we go, there we go. See, I'm not completely useless. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh. Let's see. So the next part is make a cut down here. Right, how far down is that going? So a cut here ish and here ish. Okay, that shouldn't be too uh, too bad. I want to move the object up because this seems a little low. Alright, so next up. This part remains straight. Ish. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna need to move this in, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, I think I created it already. Huh. No, okay, no, we need to stretch this out a bit more first. Oh no, this thing's getting in the way. Okay, uh, stretch that out a bit more. <laughs> this looks like a, it looks like a rocket or something now. But that's around about what it looks like though, doesn't it? Oh, the cut's actually a bit higher up. Uh, eh. Can I do something like that? Oh, oh, I can do this. Okay. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's helpful to know. UV now? Yes, I'm doing UV stuff now. Um, so it, it seems like I can do this, I think. Yeah, okay, and then just duplicate special. Oh, oh, my thing looks a little funny right now. Um, I want to overall just stretch this because otherwise it's going to look really awkward. Right? Or does it look awkward if I do that? Oh. Yeah, because then I need to stretch it out this way. From the bottom, right? And then from the top, that looks, uh, well, whatever. Um, let's just pretend it looks okay. <laughs> okay. Can I duplicate special upwards? 
Also, in the distribution, sorry about not, uh, saying that. Uh, duplicate special, edit. Oh, edit. Can I edit? <laughs> duplicate special. Oh. I, I selected this object. Object, object. There we go. Duplicate special. Is there a way to just mirror it a certain way? The duplicate special can do different things, but I don't know how to make them work. Okay, so... I mean, we want rotate to be... 90? Oh wait, X. Uh, no, we want... Is this Y axis? No, we want to be, yes, rotate 90 on the Y axis. And that's the second one, correct? It should be. 90. Apply. Okay. So then we just move that up. Oh. Oh. I said it. Huh? That not. Oh, that did it that way. Well, there. Are, oh, I think I duplicate special on the wrong way. Um. Is this one Y then? Oh! I, I did translate that rotate, did I? I don't know. Apply. No, maybe I did do it. Oh no, I don't want both. Uh, yeah, okay, then why, why didn't it come out right? <laughs> Huh. Yeah, but that just rotates it. What? Can I not uh, rotate it upside down? Oh, no, no, of course. You need a 180 rotate. Oh, I'm so dumb. So dumb. Apply. There we go. See? Oh, my. I'm smart. Um, and then translate upwards, how much, I don't know. A hundred, no, not really, no, not a hundred, ten. How much is ten? What the? Oh, they're creating an instance, whatever, let's just move this up then. This is a bit big. Um, not exactly. There we go. We can need merge vertices now or something. Wait, does that even look? Uh, sure. Hey, Phantom Tetris, welcome to the stream. Uh, no, I want object mode. Okay, so, um, scale it, no, let's make this one object now, uh, right, modify, combine, right, no, no, it's mesh combine, what am I thinking, combine, you are now one object, even though it looks really dodgy, and it's not very good, um, we can pretend it's good, right, this doesn't exactly look like what I want. Oh, I know why. Because because there isn't a point that actually straightens out. It kind of just awkwardly sits together. <laughs> um. Yeah. Let me fix that. Let's let's not combine it first. Create a bit that extrudes out from the top of this, and then that will join it. Okay. So face. No. Face. What? This is. Why are you selecting this? What? I do not have symmetry. Okay. Symmetry. No. Object. Object. What? Wait. I. These are separate objects. Wait. Is it? Um. 
Okay, so um, not a problem. No, no, I didn't mean to. Can I not do that? Oh well, that's poo poo. Wow, why can't I select that? I have to select it all individually. That's boring. Control E. You want you to extrude into yourself. Boom, now you're one object. Please. Add a mesh. Oh no, it's mesh. Combine! Uh, wait, object mode. Why are these acting as two separate objects? I combined you two! Combine! Okay, now it's. I don't know. You can select all, then hold control, then draw around unwanted area. Oh, hold on, let's. Select all. Hold on. Oh, select all to deselect. That's a smart idea. Yeah, select all to deselect the rest of the stuff. Oh, that that's probably a good idea too, actually. <laughs> Thank you for that suggestion. Huh? Wait, practice that idea. What's this? Oh, privacy. I don't know what. Um, that's scary. When you have faces, right? No, when you have faces. I get what you mean now. Like, if I had done that before, then yeah. Uh, so this looks okay, doesn't it? I think so. Uh, for our purpose, at least. So let's squish this a bit. Um, and maybe squish it like that. Look, we have the object now, right? Oh, look! <laughs> it's actually pretty accurate. I can't believe, actually. Wow, I'm getting better at this program, I think. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so now onto the stuff that we need to learn about. Uh, which is cylindrical projection. UV cylindrical projection. Where is it? cylindrical? I'm still so confused about how this works. Let me le relearn about this. Um, because I need a quick refresher. Uh, okay. Scrum sphere unwrapped in incredible ease, ignited, blah, 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 blah. Yes, it will elect an edge to split the UV shell and lay out the shape, creating a seam. Project has a manipulator handle that allows projection of the scouts. Select like to find the red crosshair. Okay. So, what, how does this work? Moves the camera. So, you can manipulate how the UV looks. Based like using that that crosshair, it seems. I mean, it just wants me to project it. it doesn't really want me to do anything with it. Okay, so let's go. UV editor. That's that's um. Uh, meant to project it a certain way, or th is that correct? It's, it seems like it's meant to come out this way, or not? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. What? Oh, what the? What's this all about? Okay. Okay, well, um. No, we want this to cylindrical. Hold on. Cylindrical select. Oh, or do you want me to. No. Oh wait, should I rotate it first before I look at it or what? Or is that just if you want to manipulate it in this way? Oh no no no, okay, no, you do need it to be that way to be able to... Okay, so let's just rotate this first. Uh, as a whole, we want you to... Rotation X. Um, is that 90 degree? Well, I mean, I could have just 
you know what let's actually be smart and uh, where's translation uh, no wait hold on I want object mode no I don't want to go on UV right now I want to go on object okay translate rotate rotate 90 degrees do a barrel roll okay that works um hmm. okay now I want UV cylindrical now does it look any better ah What do I have to do with this? Then I have to like rotate this or something. No. Hold on. Uh AI. Oh, I don't go to, but like that's that's the um like the thingy that we Hold on. Uh, the dodecahedron part is slightly different. Uh, the difficult. The dodecahedron part? Oh, I already did that. Unless you mean there's another dodecahedron part, is there? Is this what it is? No, that's different. Right? Oh, cut, move, oh my gosh, that's so... Oh, no, no, I'm actually getting that, we're getting that. Once we finish this, I think we'll um, move on. Um... But hold on. Is, is that this bit? Did this bit? Yeah. Cause all you have to do is like select it and go. So wait, we were meant to use cylindrical. Cyl yeah, on that. Um, it's actually a course that you know it's meant to be done in like later time or university and whatever. But the thing is, um, some of us in the school actually got offered the course at a lower price and within school time to be able to do it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it's, that's how we're able to do this. Okay. Anyway, I'm confused. Cylindri cylindrical projection so confusing. So you have to move the sh shell as well, right? Is that what it's asking? Right, I think that it must be what. Okay, then how do I how do I move the how do I what do I have to be selecting to be able to move this shell? Do I have to go to the shell? UV shell of both of what what do I have to go to to be able to select that? Like what what is it what is it selecting? See that bit there, how, how do you get that selected? Or is that just... Oh, wait, no. Do you have to select it in this? Oh, oh show. Because that's just this, isn't it? Blah. I'm so confused as to what they're selecting. Oh, rotate the show on UU editor. Is that so? So what, like this? Wow. 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 No, that's not right. Is it rotate? Is it rotate forward? No. Because, okay, what exactly are we trying to look at if we're doing this? Would we be looking at... Right, you'd be an object of separate things, but I thought, like, hold on, let me let me look at this again. This is so confusing to me. Right, but move the capsules, blah 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 blah. Using the crosshair manipulator, rotate the cylindrical projection to match the cylinder's circumference, right? I think that's what it says. Your tower stays straight. 
Oh, does it? Okay, well, perhaps I should have left it that way. Um, okay, so. Oh. Well, does that mean I just leave it like that? Is that it? Is that, is that what it's meant to... That, 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 that's how it... Look that way. With the, even with the... Oh, hey, Blade Blade Master, thank you for the host. Right? That, that's cylindrical, correct? No? Yeah, cylindrical. And then it, you just leave it like that? Uh, what's to do with having it straight here? Because... Or is that just because of the fact that it's... Like, did I make it a certain way that it isn't... Right? Well, I mean, we're meant to scale this down, obviously, right? Because of the fact that it doesn't fit properly. How much space would it fill in like this much? You need to have it like the PowerPoint, right? Okay. So I'm like, what's what's happened? What has happened? Do I modify? Don't know what I modify. What what do I modify? Cause um why is yours not the same? Yeah, I'm confused. Is it just meant to come up different? or is am I doing something wrong or like the projection it's like is it because it's not stretch out enough do I need to stretch it out to make it look similar or what or stretched wait that might be why right maybe Okay, now let's select this and like it doesn't affect it, does it? I mean, I know they're separate, but like, would after I it's not what I wanted to do. No, I didn't mean to. Oh, check. No, but no. Okay. Um. Oh, an hour already. Wow, that's surprising. So not that thirsty though. Huh. Uh. In the meantime, hold on. My friend just asked me a question for our. That's the, oh. Oh, is there something that you realized? Ha. E. Do. Right. Eh. The direction of it. Hydrate. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a couple of water after this. After we figure this out, and then when we move on to the next task, I'll be like, okay, let's get water. <laughs> direction. Okay, so wait. Is it because it's facing a direction that it's not? So what is it? Rotation or no? I mean. So like this, this direction, sort of, or what? How do I... So the whole shower, right? Is that what we need selected? We... Oh! Oh, is it an option? Oh, hold on. UV. So it's called option box. 
uh, uh, direction undo the projection okay like okay then we can just move back here okay there you are, right UV back to watch the thingy yeah welcome back to watching the thingy Uh, okay, is there any tutorial on YouTube for wait for this? Hold on, let me check. Um, let me just disable this just in case. Um, there might be some stuff. Let's see. Let's find out now. <laughs> Where would we have to go for this? Um, so there's the UV stuff. Okay, is there web web resources? Web articles. UV mapping basics. Ah, 2017. I've got 2016 by accident. <laughs> well, I thought we were using 2016 at the school, but we were using 2017, so yeah. Uh, luckily, there's 2016 stuffs. Because um, the 27 features symmetrize tool, layout tool. Ooh. Yeah, I might need to get the new version. Um, but at school, at the very, at the very least, I'd be able to use these tools. Okay, hold on. So, let's just see what these tutorials entail. Um, so it's just, uh, my mapping basics in 2017 is there, so what does it cover? So does it cover just the same stuff? And if so, does it cover like the whole manipulation aspect? We just need spherical, uh, no, cylindrical 